Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Today lecture neck and thorax. Anatelem ala congenital anomalies of neck and pharynx. Congenital anomalies of the neck include bronchial cyst, bronchial fistula, cystic groma, and thyroglossal cyst. And thyroglossal cyst. Firstly, bronchial cyst. In order to know how the bronchial cyst is formed, we must know the normal embryology of the neck. Normal embryology of the neck during embryology development, the second bronchial arch grow rapidly. Rapidly, more grow rapidly, covering a third and fourth arch. Then, the second arch is better than the third and the fourth arch. This is the cover of the third and fourth arch. The space between the second arch and the rest of the arch turn into the cervical sinus, which is disappeared. What are the abnormal development? If the cervical sinus persists and not disappear, it becomes a bronchial cyst. If the second arch does not completely fuse with the third and fourth arch, I deal in a bronchial fistula. Pathology of bronchial cyst and fistula. The bronchial cyst is lined by squamous epithelium, usually contain clear fluid, rich in the cholesterol, crystals, that can be microscopically identified in aspirated cyst fluid. Binamal bronchial fistula is usually congenital, but occasionally develop secondary to ruptured infected bronchial cyst. The tract is lined by squamous epithelium or ciliated epithelium and extend into and extend up to the side wall of the nasopharynx. That track in its course passes between the bifurcation of common carotid artery. Is then a track in its course passes between between the bifurcation of the common carotid artery deep to the posterior belly of the gastric muscle and superficial to the pharyngohypoglossal nerve. Clinical feature of bronchial cyst. Usually the cyst appears at late childhood. It represents a bar and age, bar and swelling near the anterior upper third of the sternocleido of the sternocleido anterior border of the sternocleidomastoid. The swelling is smooth, fluctuant, mobile, and will define the edge. The bronchial cyst must be differentiated from the cold abscess or cold abscess. How can, differ how can differentiate it? Aspiration of the bronchial cyst, aspirated clear fluid, rich in cholesterol, crystals, and well, in the cold abscess, the aspiration contain bus. This figure show the site of the bronchial cyst and bronchial fistula. Bronchial cyst in the upper third, near the anterior border of the sternocleidomastoid. And the bronchial fistula, which occupy the lower third of the anterior border of the clinomastoid. Bronchial fistula. Bronchial fistula present at birth at the bin point, ras calum, opening at the anterior border of the lower third of the sternocleidomastoid. The opening discharge mucoid material, 
but when the tract is infected, the discharge is bus. Bronchial fistula might occasionally be confused with the tubercular sinus. Then, bronchial cyst should be differentiated from the cold abscess. Well, the bronchial fistula should be should be differentiated from the tuberculous sinus. This figure shows the bronchial fistula discharge mucoid mucoid material. Treatment of bronchial cysts and bronchial fistula. Treatment of bronchial cysts is a excision through a transverse neck incision. Bronchial fistula, the old track should be excised. If not excised, old track recurrent, high recurrent. This done by, by is done by through multiple transverse neck incision. A small one around the fistula opening and the other at the right, higher level below the goal. Ureteric catheter is introduced onto the tract to facilitate its identification during surgery. What are the dangers during the surgery or a complication which occur during the surgery? Because the tract, the tract of the bronchial fistula passes between the bifurcation of common carotid artery might be trauma the one branch or a common carotid artery and might be trauma to the hypoglossial nerve. Thoracic outlet syndrome. This is very important. Before the discussion of the thoracic outlet syndrome must be now the sclenius triangle in the neck and the content of this triangle. The triangle, this triangle is made of the sclenius anterior muscle anterior. The sclenius medius muscle, it's posterior. The first rib, it's inferior. The first rib, it's inferior. At this narrow space, conversion of the nerve and artery. A nerve, a lower trunk of the brachial plexus, an artery, subclavian artery. And when it's outside, it's outside of the triangle, outside, but sometimes due to compression, ideal and even symptoms of venous insufficiency. This is the sclenius triangle. The sclenius anterior muscle is anterior border. The sclenius medius, it is the posterior border. And the first rib, first rib, this is the first rib, it's inferior. What are the content? Well, content, brachial plexus, the lower trunk of the brachial plexus, and subclavian artery, and subclavian artery. The etiology of the thoracic outlet syndrome, the common cause of the thoracic outlet syndrome include physical trauma from the car accident, repetitive injury from the job, or sports related to activities, a certain anatomical defect such as having extra rib or myosoma cervical rib and pregnancy. Clinical future of the thoracic outlet syndrome. Well, the nervous clinus triangle contains a nerve wa artery. A nerve a brachial plexus, a lower trunk of the brachial plexus, and an artery subclavian artery. Then a pressure a lower trunk, a lower trunk of the brachial plexus. Or subclavian artery, ideal and symptoms of thoracic artery syndrome. The subclavian vein not inside or not content 
not from the content of the sclenous uh, triangle. Is an anti neurogenic thoracic outlet syndrome, not you get a conversion, a conversion, a brachial plexus, a lower trunk of the brachial plexus. Hydelian symptoms include impotence of the hand, decrease the side of the hand of the hand muscle, which usually occur in one side of the body, or pain, tingling, breaking, impotence, and weakness of the neck and chest and up. It has the symptoms of the neurogenic symptoms. Or rather, it's a neurogenic thoracic outlet syndrome. نجي نشوف الفينس ثورسيك اوتلت سندروم بالرغم ان السبكليفيان فين نوت فروم ذا كونتينت اوف ذا سكلينيس ترينجل الا انه يحدث عليه بريشر ايضا اخرى حيجيب لنا ايش؟ او ايش السنتمز الذي هي؟ اتس انكلودينج سولينج اوف ذا هاند فينجرز اند ارم ما فيش فينس ريتيرن إذا كل ال 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 blood of the venous هيد جمع وين هيد جمع في الهاند في الفيجر and fingers and arms هيد دي لنا سولنج as heaviness and weakness of the neck and up the vein in the anterior chest wall vein إيش هي صلا dilated what are the symptoms which result from the conversion of the sub Caribbean artery. Cold sensitivity in the hand and fingers, numbness, pain of the fingers, and poor blood circulation to the arms, hands, and fingers due to decreased blood supply. Intermittent collocation, pain in the upper limb, which bear when exercise. Renal phenomena, which occur in the cold weather. What means by renal phenomena? When the upper limb exposed to the cold weather, the patient complain of attack of balor of the fingers, fluid by cyanosis, and then redness. We some more rebound hyperemia. This phenomena occurs due to irritation of the sympathetic nerve supplying the upper limb. It's not due to exposure to the cold weather. In the thoracic outlet syndrome, it's due to irritation of the sympathetic fiber supplying the upper limb. تكلمنا على symptoms of the thoracic outlet syndrome, which include neurogenic symptoms, arterial symptoms, and venous symptoms. Now, I'm going to tell you about the sign of the thoracic outlet syndrome. Here is a sign of the thoracic outlet syndrome. Hypoacesia might be detected in the middle forearm and hand. With them, mild twisting of the hand muscle might be noticed. Why? Why in the middle forearm? Because the lower trunk of the brachial plexus will it go in the cervical spine and thoracic one will muscle and nerve supply to the middle forearm. Weak radial bars than opposite. The man I'm going to compare now between radial bars between between radial bars. Fi al upper limb. الذي فيه ثورسك أوتلت سندروم والأذر لمب أنشوف إن في عندنا ويك بالس دان أوبزيت سايد ماي بي ديتكتد أدسون تيست أدسون تيست ماي دومينستريت كومبريشن أوف ذا سب كليبيان أرتري إزاي نعمل التيست هذا؟ إن ذيس تيست ذا بيشنت أسكت تو إكستند هيز هيد Look at the opposite side and take deep breath. Yani, low can a thoracic outlet syndrome. On the right side, we ask the patient to extend his head and look at opposite to the left side and take deep breath. The examiner then palpate the radial valves between the arm of the 
the arm of the patient built down. If the test positive, the radial pulse is the radial pulse strength is reduced. This figure shows the additional test flow. Differential diagnosis of the thoracic outlet syndrome. Unlike other disease, cause the same symptoms and sign of the thoracic outlet syndrome and should be differentiated from the thoracic outlet syndrome. First, the other cause of localized pressure on the nerve, cervical spondylosis or carpal tunnel syndrome. Other causes of renoid phenomena, renoid disease, systematic lobus erythematosus, and other collagen disease might be associated with vesiculitis. To confirm the diagnosis of the thoracic outlet syndrome from the other disease which give the same symptoms and sign should be bare for the following test. Chest X-ray, posture anterior view, I will deal in, I will deal in it. إذا كان في عندي سيرفايكال ريد أيبان على على شكل ريدي أوبيك آه ريدي أوبيك على الإكس راي أرتيريال دوبلر سب كليبيان أرتري أن أوف ذا أبر لمب حيورينا أيضا إذا كان في عندي استنوزيس إن ذا سب كليبيان أرتري كمبيوترات سيموغرافي سكان ميجنتيك أنجيوغرافي أرتريوغرافي أنتونيوغرافي Electromyography. Electromyography is the power of the muscle. Power of the muscle. We have to say that it is a twisting, twisting, mild twisting of the muscle of the hand, of the arm, and the neck and chest. Electromyography is the power of this muscle. Nerve conduction study. Treatment of the thoracic outlet syndrome. In the early case, it's conservative treatment. Physiotherapy to strengthen the shoulder muscle might relieve the symptoms. If the conservative treatment failure, indication, in this case, indication for surgery. Surgery is done to relieve the compression. This can be achieved through any of the following operations. Firstly, if there is any cervical rib, should be excision. Division of the sclenous anterior muscle, well, I shall pursue the anterior uh, sclenous muscle, is a more sclenotomy. To relieve the compress anterior. Then, the sclenous anterior muscle, the boundaries of the, the anterior boundaries of the sclenous uh, triangle. Excision of the first rib to relieve the compression inferior. Then, the first rib can muscle inferior border, the sclenius triangle. When the can the sclenius inferior to muscle the anterior border, while the sclenius medius can muscle the posterior. Then, division of the sclenius inferior muscle, sclenotomy to relieve the compression inferior. Excision of the first rib to relieve the compression inferior and, and vascular stenting. If there can be severe stenosis, we can do the subclavian artery. Sometimes we can stent, stent the segment, the stenosis segment of the subclavian artery. We can relieve the sign or symptoms of the subclavian uh, compression. Cystic hygroma أو ما يسمى lymphangioma أيضا لا اسم آخر هو lymphangioma. This is the second congenital anomaly of the neck. Embryology of cystic hygroma. كيف تتكون cystic hygroma؟ قبل هذا ضروري نعرف الامبريولوجي. In the eight week of gestation, six lymphatic sac can be identified in the develop, developing embryo. 
this lymphatic sac are distributed to jugular sac وهذا الذي يتكون منها الذي هو cervical lymph node upper middle and lower to iliac sac وهذا الذي حيتكون منها inguinal lymph node and lumbar uh, lymph node بالجروين and uh, one of the base of the root of the mesentery وهذا الذي يتكون منها mesenteric lymph node and what and one dorsal to the abdominal aorta cisterina cali يسمى cisterina cali later on the network of the lymphatic developed that communicate with the lymphatic of different organs during the ninth week of gestation بعد اسبوع وهذا this sac are invaded by connective tissue to form lymph nodes this is the normal embryology this is the normal embryology if the lymphatic sequestrated tissue fail to communicate with the other remainder of the lymphatic or venous system later on dilatation of sequestrated lymphatic tissue resulting in cystic morphology of this lesion alleged some cystic hygroma pathology of cystic hygroma في البرونكيال سيست تحدثنا على ان الول اوف ذا برونكيال سيست عباره عن سكوامس ابيثيليوم وأن السيست هذا كونتين على كلير فلويد ريتش ان ذا كوليسترول كريستالز في السيستيك جروم في, الس... في البرونكيال سيست ات از ذا سينجل سيست هذا بينما بالباثولوجي اوف ذا سيستيك جروم ات كونسيست فروم ذا مالتيبل سيست وذ ذا لارجر وان واحده تكون كبيره والبقيه تكون اصغر من الحجم هذا ات سيست از لايند باي اندوثيليال سيل and contain clear fluid. Where is it the most common site of the uh, cystic groma? The most common site of the cystic groma, posterior triangle of the neck, represent 75, which is the most common site. It is the most common site. What had done a couple of years ago, the posterior triangle will bound this hole. وقلنا ان الانتيرير باوند انتيرير بوردر اوف ذا بوستيرو تريانجل ريبريزنت هو عباره عن البوستيرو بوردر اوف ذا استرنوكريدوموستويد وان البوستيرو بوردر اوف ذا بوستيرو تريانجل اوف ذا نيك هو عباره عن ايش عباره عن ترابيزيس مصل على عباره عن الترابيزيس مصل انفيريوري عبارة عن الميدل ثيرد الميدل ثيرد اوف آه الميدل ثيرد اوف كلافيكال اذا ذا موست كومنلي ان ذا بوستيريو تريانجل اوف ذا نيك ريبريزنت اباوت 75 موست كومن سايت بالاكزيل 20 شيك تانجا وبالتانجا يسموها لومفو انجيو جينيتيك مايكرو بالجروين بالميدستينام اوفن مالتيبل سايت اذا السيستيك هيجروما بينما كنا نتكلم على البرونكيال سيست وقلنا ان البرونكيال سيست كوباي ذا ابر بورد الابر ثيرد اوف ذا سترنوكلويد مستويد والبرونكيال فيستولا ذا لور ثيرد اوف ذا سترنوكلويد مستويد clinical picture or features of cystic hygroma at age the majority of the cystic hygroma present at birth or within the first few years of life في البرونكيال سيست تكلمنا وقلنا انه الايج في الشايلد هود 16 سنه 20 سنه وهذا In the cystic hygroma, it is very rare in the cyst empty, cyst empty, until the infection or trauma in the adult life causes uh, of the adult life causes them to fill up and become visible. Mrs. Ayeswali, 
هنتكلم على البوزيشن هنتكلم على السايز هنتكلم على الشيب هنتكلم على السيرفس على الكونستنسي على ال lymphatic drainage على deep structure and superficial structure related to the solid. The cystic hygroma are commonly found around the base of the neck usually in the posterior triangle but sometimes can be very big and occupy the all of subcutaneous tissue of one side. It is bluish in color it's over it's it's bluish in color and translucent yani trans elimination just it is positive rather except no to go not trans elimination negative low hadas infection le assist the inner fluid i said turbid the swelling is soft and partially compressible and increased in the size with the curve ايش السوينج الاخر في النك الذي انكريزنج وذ ذا كف ات از ذا فارينجيال باوش ذا سوينج ماي اوكيجنلي انكريز رابيدلي ان ذا سايز تو ذا اكسنتر اند ماي انترفير وذ ريسبيريشن هنا يكون سيستيك جروما اسايت حقه في الشيست وهذا في الشيست وهذا بس sometimes following the upper respiratory infection spontaneous regression ما يأكل مجرد ما يحدث subsidal infection يرجع أي يرجع إلى الحجم الطبيعي لسوري it is multiple cysts multi loculated multi locular this figure show the cystic groma in infant in infant occupy all lateral side of the neck من ضمن الانفستيجيشن انفستيجيشن للسيستيك جروما الترا ساوند حيبين لنا ايش الالترا ساوند هذا الترا ساوند I will like cavernous lymphatic communicated and grew to form large cysts and then infiltrate to the surrounding tissue. Treatment of cystic hygroma. Excision. Is excision. Some surgeon pre-operative injection of boiling water in the swelling to induce fibrosis and to make it smaller and easier to handling during surgery. Pharyngeal diverticulum or pharyngeal bouch. Definition. It, it is a protrusion of mucosa through the chylin dehiscence. Weak area, about an weak area of the posterior pharyngeal wall between the thyropharyngeus muscle represent as oblique fibers and coracopharyngeus muscle already transfers fiber of the inferior constrictor muscle of the pharynx. Hanshufa postural qadmaal. Al cause due to increase the intrapharyngeal pressure from failure of relaxation of the coracopharyngeus muscle during contraction of the pharyngeal muscle above it. هذا الصورة حتوضح لنا كيف يتكون الفرنجيال باوش. إذن هذا thyropharyngeus muscle it is oblique in fibers وهذا coracopharyngeal muscle it is transverse ring it. In transverse, uh, in transverse. Al pharyngeus muscle and coracopharyngeus muscle are is a more constrictor muscle. Constrictor muscle. Had the nocta a little kailin dehiscence or nocta or tafakkuk kailin. هذا المكان هو الذي يكون لنا الذي يكون لنا المنطقة الضعيفة الذي سيتكون فيها فرنجيال باوش بعض أحيان يسموه زينكر دايفرتيكولم هو نفسه فرنجيال باوش 
نتيجة انكريز للانترا فارينجيال بريشر فروم ذا فيلير اوف ريلاكسيشن عدم ارتخاء ذا كراكو فارينجياس مصل ديورين كونتراكشن اوف ذا فارينجيال مصل ابوف ايتول هذا السبب الذي يكون لنا الفارينجيال باوش او زينكر دايفرتيكال باوش كلينيكال فيوتشر اوف فارينجيال باوش الايج فارينجيال باوش بير ان ميدل اند اولد ايج السكس دير ار مور كومن ان ميل ذان ان فيميل ان ذا ايرلي ستيج نو سمتومز نو ساين اوف ذا دايفرتيكال ميجوالي اسمتوماتيك In long-standing case, there is history of dysphagia. So, what is that? Regurgitation in digested food after meal. Tergi gda gair mahdum baad alwajba. Regurgitation of gas. Qarqar le alghas. Gargling noise in the neck. Gargling noise in the neck. جارجلينوز ضجيج أو قرقرة في الرقبة. In about one third of cases, the pouch is large enough to form visible swelling in the neck, which enlarge when the patient drink and can be impeded by pressure. In advanced case, progressive loss of weight occur. And my lead to cachexia في حالة dysphagia. Infection within the lymphatic malformation usually caused by streptococci. إذن إذا حصل infection للفرنجيال باوش هذا معناته معناته مسكم من أورجانيزم streptococci أو استفيلوكوكاي. In the neck, this can cause rapid enlargement, which may result in airway compromise. In airway compromise. Pharyngeal bulge. Barium swallow may show the bulge in the posterior wall of the pharynx in the early case, but in the late case, there is the flask-shaped bulge. Flask. Sometimes with the fluid level, barium swallow. إذن هذا الصورة تورينا هذا يسمى الذي هو إيش الفرنجيال باوش. شو بالج in the posterior of the pharyngeal. But in the late case, في المرحلة الأخيرة من ممكن يعمل إيدي إلى الشيب فلاسك شيب باوش. Sometimes with the fluid level لأنه يحتوي على إيش يحتوي على داي إذا كان أول انفستيجيشن باريم سوارا كان من أول اسوفيجسكوبي از نوت ريكومندد البعض ما يحبش انك تعمل اسوفيجسكوبي في حالة الدايجنوزيس اوف ذا فرينجيال باوش ات ماي بي بيرفوريت ذا فاندس اوف باوش ممكن يعمل بيرفوريشن كمبيوترايت سوموجرافي سكان اولثو ماجنتيك ريزونانس ايميل Monometric study may helpful. Differential diagnosis of pharyngeal bulge should be differentiated from bronchial cyst, cold abscess in the neck, lymph cyst, and hemangioma in the neck. How do you treatment of pharyngeal bulge? It depends on two factors: the size of the bulge, hagen. The pharyngeal bulge and egg of the patient. When the bulge is of large size, surgery is recommended. A surgery to one minute. The diverticulum is excised, the neck is closed in two layers, and cracopharyngeal myotomy is performed. Tracheostomy. يجب أن نعرف الإنديكيشن موجبات إن إحنا نعمل تراكسومي يجب أن نتعرف على البوست أوبراتيف كير للتراكسومي وكذلك أيضا الكمبكيشن أوف تراكسومي إنديكيشن أوف تراكسومي فرستلي تو ريليف أوبستراكشن أوف ذا أبر إير باسيج ديوتو 
ಇದನ್ನು ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಉಗಿಸ್ತಿರಕ್ಷಣ ಮೈ ಬಿ ಡ್ಯೂ ಟು ಫುಲಂ ಬುಡಿ ಮೈ ಬಿ ಡ್ಯೂ ಟು ಉಜೀಮಾ ಆಫ್ ದ ಗ್ಲೋಚಿಯಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಮೈ ಅಕರ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡರಿ ಟು ಅಕ್ಯೂಟ್ ಲರಿಂಗೈಟಿಸ್ ಲರಿಂಗಿಯಲ್ ಡಿಫ್ಟೀರಿಯಾ ಕೊರೋಸಿವ್ ಸ್ವಾಲೋ ಸ್ವಲಿಂಗ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅನ್ ಗ್ಯೂ ನ್ಯೂರಿಟಿಕ್ ಉಜೀಮಾ ಬೈ ಲಟಿಲರ್ ಅಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟರ್ ಬರಾಲಿಸಿಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಫೋಕಲ್ ಕೋರ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡರಿ ಟು ರೀಕರೆನ್ಸ್ ಲರಿಂಗಿಯಲ್ ನರ್ವ್ ಎಂಜಿನಿ ವಾದ ಯಹಜತ್ ಮತ ಯಹಜತ್ ವಿ ಹಾಲತ್ ಅ ಥೈರೋಯ್ಡ್ ಥೈರೋಯ್ಡ್ ಸರ್ಜರಿ ಕರ್ಸನೂಮ ಆಫ್ ಲಾರಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಕ್ರೋನಿಕ್ ಸ್ಟೆನೋಸಿಸ್ ಫ್ಲೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟ್ಯೂಬರ್ ಕ್ಲೋಸಿಸ್ ಇದನ್ನು ಅವಲ್ ಇಂಡಿಕೇಶನ್ ಟು ರಿಲೀವ್ ಓವರ್ ಸೆಲೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಫ್ಯಾನಿ ಇಂಡಿಕೇಶನ್ ಟು ಅಲ್ಲಾವ್ ಅಸಿಸ್ಟೆಡ್ ಓರ್ ಪಾಸಿಟಿವ್ ಬ್ರೇಷರ್ ಫಿಂಟಿಲೇಷನ್ ಸ್ಪೆಷಿಯಲಿ ಇಫ್ ನೀಡೆಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ಬರೋಡಿಂಗೆಡ್ ಬರಿಯೆಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ಬರೋಡಿಂಗೆಡ್ ಬರಿಯೆಡ್ إذن في حالة إن المريض يحتاج إلى أندوتراكيل انتيوبيشن وهذا أندوتراكيل تيوب cannot be left in place for more than 10 days لذلك ممكن نعمل تراكستمي and this patient تراكستمي over the patient to more advantage reduction anatomical disbase and effective section of trachobronchial secretion. Fee trichostomy, trichostomy tube, or fee cuffed, cuffed, and in cuffed trichostomy tube, a sore wallah, a sore wallah fee hon. Post-operative care, frequent section of secretion. humidification of inspired air to avoid the rhinuses of the air passing then tartib inspired air to avoid the rhinuses of the air passing and secretion which become difficult to expel and aspire it complication of trichostomy and customer complication of trichostomy is a early complication or late complication There is early complication for the drying of secretion and obstruction of the tube. And to avoid it, the drying of the secretion should be humidification of inspired air. The mic fit tracheal wall from the prolonged pressure by cuff. This might lead to humus. Displacement of the tube onto the tissue of the neck is a deal in the surgical emphysema. the last one of the early complication one to fiction okay a late complication a late complication rather a subglutic stenosis occur if the tracheal incision involve first tracheal ring then low amina al incision or al opening of the tracheostomy above the first tracheal ring has a ممكن يؤدي لنا الى ايش استنوزس of the trachea to avoid little stenosis tracheostomy incision should be between the third and fourth tracheal ring thank you and goodbye